Hello friends, uh, today I will talk about this beautiful uh, Girich patterns. Um, you can spell it Jaira or Girich in different languages, uh, which means knots and um, used in um, mostly in Islamic architecture to for decoration of walls uh, with seemingly repeating or not repeating patterns. Um, there are very different examples of it. Um, today I want to show you how to create them from um, polygons and polygonal stars, which are uh, nottingly or greekly going into each other. So by starting, uh, we have a very simple formula, which is the, the formula of the circle actually. Um, in this formula, I will make a little bit more space. In this formula, we have this or typical sinus and cosinus patterns uh, which are combined with the spline factor which is the uh, the number of the um, of the each point in a in a spline in 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 in, in blender um i have here one curve line uh the, the original geometry i don't use it's here i have one curve line which is resampled um by as many points as you want uh, to, to look to make it look like a circle and then the positions are set the x and y positions are set and i have here some um, just a, just a note to make it make the lines thicker and black um here on the second example i don't have so many points so because like if you reduce the points if you reduce the points eventually you will reach uh, the triangle or in between there are this, all these um, polygonal shapes. But if you have as many points as you, it makes the eye to seem it uh, as, a, as, a, as a circle, then you will get the impression of a circle. But basically it's a, a very high-end polygon. Uh, in another example here, I have just like five, five, um, uh, five cones, five, five, five edges. Um, I get them. Let's... Let's make the, here more space. Um, I, I connected it here. I have the count of the edges, which I use uh, to, to resample, but I take one less of it because, uh, because the here happens a circle and it comes back to the same point and the number of these points or the array must be one more to in, a, in order to to complete the, the turn of this polygon. So I have here uh, five, a, a pentagon, hexagon, and then an octagon and septagon. And you can really use just this simple pattern, simple uh, geometry node setup to create polygons. If you go one step further, if you start to play a little bit and uh, change the sinus and cosinus multiplications i have here a three three dimensional example even where i use uh, also play with that coordination so you can really uh, have very very fantastic wave shapes and you, but you can really definitely see here how the the wave shapes are connected to polygons just by changing a little bit just by a multiplication of before the sinus and cosinus value we will get the, um, the relatives of the uh, of the circle which is very connected to sinus and cosinus functions um, we have this wave functions which are really amazing to play with um, I have here another example if you take if you will take the to take the um, uh, one of them we will have just like x and y coordinates just to stay in the in this uh, in the two dimensional space, um, but if we have a really good method to add them together, we end up in the knots in the Girich patterns. So we simply add two two functions, two circles, uh, which I have grouped here, which are basically what 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 I had before, multiplying this sinus and cosines functions and combining them and scaling them a little bit in order to to reach um, one circle and if i go out and add these two circles together to get this position 
uh, I have this this ni nice uh, circles. I have to here to mention that uh, which is what inspired me to do this tutorial. Um, this is Aaron Dale's really fantastic work where he used them in in sp spirographs and circles to create these wonderful patterns. But this inspired me to to go go back. And as I started to play and do this tutorial, I got really inspired to do these really nice geometrical geary shapes. So I want to thank you to, to him. And I will, of course, send a link in, in the description to his tutorial, which is like, um, he's a master of, of notes. So I learned a lot from him. So you should also uh, go and follow and check his tutorials. Um, anyway, here uh, I have some more notes. So uh if if you start to play with them and come in a, in a certain point uh if you have uh here i have one where i have like six turns of course these are like five but as i said there is a do you had you had to have at one more um you if you don't complete the turn you will see that you have you have by five you have this four turns which is like just one below if you have if you are somewhere in between you see that this Check this end. It it looks and until the next number, it's well, by eight, it finally reaches. But before it makes like this little spiral, this circle in circle, where our additions of our circles comes, it, it makes the circle in circle in order to reach the, the starting point. So this is how they they these wonderful gears are uh, mathematically built by adding two circles. As vectors, just simply the circles which we created just before, and um, and that's it actually. Um, you can see that uh, a nice example here, just like by making a star. Uh, the circle here you can see this is this the circle, which uh, which you see that this check just check this end point of it. Uh, if it turns, this tries to reach it and, and and just like here somewhere reaches it um, uh, completely to make a circle because the size of the turns makes it. But like if I stay by five and then let's go back. Uh, I think by, it was by six uh, minus one and it makes this, this nice um, pentagon. Uh, yes, this pentagonal shape um, or pentagram. Of course, this is a pentagram, and if if you combine one pentagram with a pentagon, you get this very basic of the skirish shapes. Um, continuing to play with with these numbers, you can reach really amazing symmetrical patterns. So where you you have like a different combinations of them, of the of the of the patterns. Um, but what I, I did here is like just like playing and adding multiple of the circles, and uh, adding another one. Uh, I have here like one, one, uh, one orange, and one red, uh, one yellow, and one, one, yeah, orangely red. So if I will take this off, you will see this is the, this, this is the the red one, and here the if I add the yellows, then they come and for for both one, um, you can have like different combinations, different scales. This is here my scale, and and different different number of turns, of of these particular shapes just playing this these are all just this circular pattern which is just like scaled and having having just like very this very little really nice combination of sinus and cosinus function and then uh, what i did is like you see like there you can really create these nice patterns and what I really then did is just just took three of them, and uh, having them you can just really combine different numbers of inside shapes. I have here like twenty five or or five, which is which makes like this four again. This you need another circle to reach the, the first circle, and um, three of them which which you can really combine in different numbers. I have here like one. One uh, penta, uh, pen, uh, one one uh, hexagonal shape, one quadratic shape with with this really nice arrow shapes, and 
which 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 are created by by again by these turns, and because here I again like there are two circles which are added again the same really same story. Uh, the another one is just like to make um, uh, this real this uh, corner corner shapes outline shapes. Okay, so you can play with them. You can have a really free one to to have like different numbers of them. You have to, of course, take care that you have like integers here, else you will get this between shapes which are not fulfilled, not full, uh, full shapes. Just you have to, in turns, you have always have to put uh, integer numbers or whole numbers. And then uh, you can you can have if you have like a certain number of them. Just check here is a very simple pentagular shape. And then you can start to put them in, on a on a ground and tile them on your own. So you have then here I uh, hear like three different uh shapes. You can see them by rotation. This is like zero rotation. Then I have like minus 108. And the other one is uh here. I think this word uh, here. Uh, plus 108. So 108 grades is um, is for for pentagons or pentagrams. Important that they have like this in this in, in inside angle of 108. And if you or, uh, order them in according to this minus 100 minus 108, then you will get uh, this kind of empty spaces in between the the grids or gears. Uh, or gyrax and in English pronunciation, or if you make them um, plus, like we're starting with one, but then the others like two are minus minus 108, and then three are plus 108, then you get penta pentagrammatic shapes in between these pentagons, and in most of this architecture, um, a lot of in architectural shapes, they use this kind of orderings in order to get even more complex and complex and complex shapes. So um, I will upload this this file, and of course I will link the um, uh, the tutorial of Aaron Dale to to this. And I hope you will get like real nice results, um, experimental results. Feel free to share them with me, or feel free to comment if you. If you have questions, if you want to ask um, for other functions, maybe in the future I can make one where, um, where we can parametrically order this these shapes. This doesn't have to be so so complex because like they have like really, really routine um, rotations, rotational uh, symmetries. So we will we will see uh, how it takes from here now. Um, Thank you for watching and enjoy playing with Greek uh, tiles.